Today, I'm speaking with Darren Hazelwood, the CEO of Panther Metals, a company that I have not before uh, seen. And I understand, uh, Darren, that your focus is on uh, volcanic uh, massive sulfide deposits in, in northern Ontario. C can you please tell us something about this? Because I wasn't aware there were such deposits in northern Ontario. Yeah, so, so the, the commonly known VMS, um, Volca, mm -hmm. Volcomogenic Massive Sulfide. Now, they're, um, they're polymetallic deposits, um, generally. <clears throat> now, in Canada, 49% um, of the zinc uh, produced is from VMSs. About 25% of the copper from VMSs is the same. Um, but in northern and northwestern Ontario, we're about 80 kilometers um, to the west, uh, the, from the west to us away is Sturgeon's Lake Greenstone Belt. Now that's that's a renowned Greenstone Belt for VMS deposits. There was five past producing mines. They all produced commercially uh, from the late 60s to the early 90s. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Actually, Glencore were, were were back prospecting on there in in twenty twenty three, uh, but Jim Franklin, who's a world Canadian legend, but world renowned expert on VMSs and, and a world renowned a geologist, um, he's actually said that he believes that a bonga, which is the greenstone belt we're working on, um, is the sister greenstone belt to Sturgeon's Lake. So we, we couldn't um, we we couldn't wish for a for a better exploration property than a bonga. What metals and minerals are we talking about in these deposits? So they're, they're pre predominantly zinc, mm -hmm. uh, zinc, copper, lead, silver. You can get some gold in them, um, but the and but the four main the four main um, commodities: um, zinc, copper, um, lead, and silver. What what's your timetable? What when are you going to start, and what is your goal? Right. So we've put um, it for, on the VMS side on the bonga. Uh, we've put six holes into the VMS <clears throat> um, targets in total to date. Now a bonga is a is an underexplored greenstone belt, and. What we've done, we've drilled five holes at one area we call wishbone. Uh, within those five holes, we've hit uh, four separate lenses. Now, along any individual lens, you can you can find a deposit. Um, it's it's been a remarkable technical success. We've actually confirmed that this is a VMS area as well. And let's remember that the VMSs tend to cluster. But we're at, in our marketing, we're saying that we're, we're uncovering the, the the next VMS camp in Canada, which we are. Now, we've hit four lenses out of five holes at Wishbone. We've also hit mineralization. Um, we've probably topped out at sort of two meters of zinc, um, nearly seven percent, had nearly five percent silver, and circa 0.19 percent copper. Whilst the intercept wasn't huge. What it did do for the first time ever, it confirmed that this VMS system is carrying mineralization. And that was a major breakthrough for a bonga. You had BHP there in the early two, 1990s. They, um, they liked the area, but they pulled out due to the Windy Craggy scandal uh, of 92, where all explorers basically, um, due to what went on with the Canadian government at the time, just downed tools and, and, and walked out of Canada. And it, it actually took them a, Good few years to recover from that um, but we've also put uh one and now at the wishbone area we've got anomalous copper over a very defined area the area is about it and this is in lake sediments the area is circa 10 kilometers north to south probably a couple of kilometers wide now we've got um copper in lake sediments part per million and there are numerous um uh 
upgrades of anything up to 860, 870 ppm parts per million. Um, you've got 700 ppm, 500, a, a whole cacophony of, um, of, of copper ppms between sort of 100 to 500. And it's in an area that, 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 that very quickly the copper drops back to the background levels from Ontario. In Ontario, copper's circa 25 parts per million copper. And outside of this defined zone, it drops back to the background levels. Now, that leads us with with a lot of confidence to believe that that copper is actually leaching out of the out of the area as opposed to being erosion if it had eroded then that would have been spread out over a lot wider area and and you wouldn't have had such high concentrations if it was erosion tell me tell me what kind of access do you have to these areas where you're looking for discoveries and this is the reason that the area has been available, Jack. Um, so a bonga's a greenstone builder has no... We, we are very close to the main road from, from uh, Thunder Bay to Armstrong, but actual roads and trails are non-existent on the greenstone belt. So we're, we're having to put in our own trails and that's our next step we at the moment everything we've done has been by helicopter support but that's also why it's been underexplored to have mm -hmm. such a prospective area so what we did um you you mentioned what's the plan we actually we actually state nine we've now got access or or, or have an option over 90 percent of this entire greenstone belt and it's a very clear plan to to snag interest from majors you're looking at 291 square kilometres of ground. Um, we've put one hole in a separate area on a bonga for VMS. This is called survey. The um, the mag and EM signatures, three kilometres by half a kilometre. And we put one hole in and we actually discovered anomalous zinc over over about 15 metres. And the, the metallurgical work on that also confirmed that the survey area on its own is a, is a VMS. Uh, so, so the the plan is Jack is very much we we will now start to we're talking with the indigenous communities at the moment um, is to cut trails into a bonga, so that we can have have road access rather than the expense of helicopters. But that's what's kept juniors out of the bonga greenstone belt and why that opportunity is well, there. Okay, T tell me, what's your background? <laughs> right, so I was. Um, Personally, I was a private investor in London. Mm -hmm. um, I was notifiable in a collection of companies within the sector uh, whilst running my own my own private business. And I had a choice um, of continuing to grow my own private business or, or step directly into the industry at a board level. And the realities are that the capex of building the business that I was in um, didn't didn't offer the same potential returns that I saw in the industry at the time. And in fact, all of those metrics have, have continued to to grow in terms of um, medium to long term supply shortages and, and, and everything else that's going to drive this. Now, we couldn't have forecast COVID. We couldn't have forecast a bear market that we've all suffered globally over the last two years. Um, but it was basically to make more money in this industry than in the industry I was in. And that's it, it's something that never gets talked about. But that is ultimately what we're all here for, Jack. I want to build this business. I want to build a big business. The, the, the thing that, that, is so noticeable about the junior mining industry is that there's no businessmen in it. Uh, it it's usually geologists with with a dream, and so you bring you bring a, a a different dimension to the business because you're starting off thinking like a business, and and so that's that's a, to me a very good thing. Okay, uh, especially this business. So I assume that you have on staff though. The geologists and core drillers and people people that actually you know know how to do this <laughs> listen we 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 i am about building teams 
Okay, that's mm. you, you great. You build great businesses through building great teams. And my my chairman, uh, Nick O'Reilly, he's actually a reporting geologist, a uh, competent person for London Stock Exchange. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he does uh, a, a huge amount of work behind the scenes um, at a geological society in London, mm-hmm. highly respected. But in fact, um, the, our option partner in on the bonga is Liam Boya. She's Canadian. She's out of Thunder Bay. Highly respected geologist. I'm not going to go too much into what she does um, as a, 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 a on a day to day basis, but or I, I will add that she works to an extremely high level. And it is it's there's no different to anything. You build your teams. You've got to have the confidence in your teams and the belief. And also, what what I I believe strongly believe in and something that will become obvious as as this business develops because and grows we have i haven't been able to implement this over the last four years since we listed and part there's two reasons one was we listed in january 2020 and we come straight into covid i couldn't have timed it worse uh covid kicked off in the the late february of 2020 where where are you listed we're listed in London. We were at main market listing in London. Okay. Um, and then we had co- we, we, uh, Canada uh, opened up on the 7th of September to, to, to fly. 7th of September 2021. Um, I flew in on the 11th. And, um, of course, after Christmas, um, um, the, what, the, the, the Russia invaded Ukraine and the, the, the bear market hit. And what I took a decision. Uh, we haven't actually raised as a business any capital for the last 18 months. Um, I took a conscious decision to to work on the foundations of the business whilst we were on the public market because I didn't believe that the public markets were offering any value to explorers or mining companies within that period. Now, I also believe that we're actually coming out of that out of that um, out of that moment in time. I, I think it's looking more bullish. It will take time. But as a result, I've now got to prove my worth and and, and show what I'm doing. And within that, I believe in um, in, in structures that allow people to get on and do things. Um, decentralized structures is what it actually is. So you can build our teams in the separate areas that we want to build the business. And, and you can build some great things by doing that. Thank you very much for the, for the time today. I'm looking forward to, to following. Now, listen, the, the pleasure is all mine to, 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 to be on to be on a call with the the, the legend that's Jack Lifton is is an honor is my is all my honor. So okay. I, I thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Jack.